Now we're on the B real ones. Okay, you guys are about to hear me fucking rant. Popular app dares to use... Da oh, wait. Dares users to be real and show authentic self. Here's the be real deal. Once a day at a random time, users get a notification that simply says, time to be real. That moment, you've got two minutes to snap a pic. Do y'all have be real? I will never download be real. I will explain why in a minute, but I will never download be real. Your phone's front camera captures what you're doing, what's in front of you, no matter how mundane. Well, the rear facing camera captures you, a selfie. Two images, no filters, promptly posted for your friends to see. It's really like just a snippet in someone's life. It's just a snapshot. Do you feel like there's ever photos you take, especially the selfie images where you're like, oh, I don't love that, but I'm going to put it out there anyway? You know, nobody's photo is going to be of them in like full glam, you know, like looking their best. You, I think yes, it will. Dude, okay. This is why I hate Be Real. And it's not because of the app itself. I like the idea of be real, right? To be real. It's not like other social medias. It's it's showcasing what you're actually doing. It's not like fabricated like Instagram where it shows your amazing life even though your life fucking sucks in reality, right? The reason I don't like be real is because it's not at, no one actually uses the app for its genuine purpose. Everybody opens the notification late. Everybody stages the fucking photos. I know they do cuz I see my friends do it. When you have a be real, your the whole purpose is to show exactly what you're doing the second you fucking see that shit. Why is no one, hey, I'm fucking taking a shit. I'm blowing up the bathroom. Hey, I'm I'm driving right now. Hey, I'm in class and I'm on my phone or something. Like, like some people do actually fucking do that shit and take pictures of them taking a shit or whatever. But the majority of it, it's like, Everybody's just sitting around. Hey, the be reels going on. Everybody get a, everybody get over here. Let's all fucking come together and make it seem cooler than it is. It annoys me. Like, just show exactly what you're doing. Use the app for, for its fucking purpose. That's the reason I won't download it is because nobody actually uses it for its fucking actual purpose. It's supposed to be just showing what you're actually doing. And I think it's kind of creepy, right? <laughs> and I think it's kind of weird that like, like, why, why should I, like, I don't get it. Like, why do you want to see what your friends are doing at an exact time? You know what I mean? That is pretty false. What do you mean that is pretty false? What's pretty false? I, I see Crucible. Another thing. And uh, hey, I'm already mad today. That statement just pissed me off. If you disagree with someone, say why. Don't say you're wrong, but go off. You're wrong, but go off, boo. <laughs> you think you ate, didn't you? Maybe say why you disagree with me other than just saying you think I'm fucking wrong. A lot of people are on time. Not a lot of people are. A lot of people are off time and most people stage it. And it's weird. Why do you want to see what your friend's doing at 2.22 in the morning? It's odd. It's sort of an unspoken rule that we're all going to do it and be, you know, our just like natural selves. It's cool. I like the premise of it, but it's like, it's not... It, it, people hype it up. Even though the app launched in early 2020, it really skyrocketed this year, growing 315% since January 1st, according to Apptopia. Hey guys, I'm moving dorms, so let's pack. I don't it's especially popular I with so Gen Zers like college freshman Max Zuanich. I love Who it. Who the fuck is this kid? Who is it? Like, dude, am I wrong in saying today news just brings on random TikTokers? Like, whenever there's a trend that has to do with TikTok, they just pull one dude from their For You page and just say, hey, do you want to come on an interview? Like, who is this? I think it's so cool. I look forward to the notifications every day. What is it about it that you like? You look forward to the Be Real notifications? Like, it's not... Love it. I think it's... Like, Why? You look forward to the notification. This is you just on your computer. Good shit, by the way, that you're actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Also good shit that you're at. You're actually even taking blurry ass pictures. I respect him for that. W for this kid. I don't know who the fuck you are, but W for the fact that you're actually just snapping the pic and doing it. You're not retaking it or some bullshit. What is it about it that you like so much? I just now am realizing how addicting social media is in general. And it just highlights how you're only trying to show the highlights of your life. And that's kind of what helped me like realize like, oh my gosh, this is kind of an issue for me. Be Real is marketed as an alternative.
alternative to addictive social networks. It won't make you famous, the company bluntly said. It's an alternative to addictive social networks. This kid just said he looks forward to the notification every day. So he's addicted. Well, he's not addicted to it, but he's on it. And I do like that it won't make you famous. That is cool about that social media. Use Yo, you know what blows my shit even more? The fact that TikTok came out with their own version of Be Real. TikTok now? How fucking cringe is that? Fuck off. Who? No one uses TikTok now. And they push it so hard. I wish I could just get rid of it. Because every time I go on TikTok, I'm trying to scroll through my For You page. It's like, hey, post a TikTok now. No. I'm not posting it. Stop asking me to post on TikTok now. Fucking stupid. And most of the time, you don't even have your friends on your TikTok, right? Like most people's TikTok accounts is usually just following other creators. It's kind of like a YouTube account. You might follow some of your friends, but you don't follow all of your friends. So the whole point of TikTok now is fucking defeated because you don't even have most of your friends on the fucking app. Whereas Be Real, I do get it because you add your friends on it. Fucking stupid. Most people just follow creators on TikTok, so then who the fuck are you going to post your now to? Yourself? It's not these, like, curated images from celebrities or influencers or anything. For college sophomore Juliana Caffarella, it's a way to share a truly real part of her life with close friends, like when she got a notification during her aunt's funeral. So I, like... Oh, my God. Why did you post? Why did you post? Just don't even post. Just just sit through the funeral why are we oh my god she had to be real she did oh my god for the memories maybe yeah but oh my god dude i would not I, that would ruin the vibe i'm at a fucking funeral oh no my be real's here oh oh quickly snap just like a picture of like just my eyes up um and they were like really puffy from crying at a funeral but you know, those are things at like slightly more vulnerable moments. And if you are busy when that daily notification comes, you can post your pics later. Your friends will just- That's so stupid though. That's so stupid. Do you really- That defeats the whole purpose of the app. The whole purpose of the app is that you're supposed to the second- You're supposed to post it the second you get the notification. The fact that it's even an option to post later defeats the purpose of the app. After all, what's more real? than a little tardiness. <laughs> so you can't- uh, 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 What's more real than a little tardiness? Dude, every every newscaster is an NPC. Swear to God. Every every newscaster that commentates on this shit is a fucking NPC. You can only see someone's content if you've also uploaded a pic that Oh, that's day. cool too. I like that. That is cool. That is cool that you have to post to see other people's posts. Snapchat and Instagram have dominated the social space, especially when it comes this to- This is just another video on Be Real. ...sharing photos. 10 years on, photo sharing is all about perfection. Editing your snaps until there's no defects- But it's also make just like, the issue, the issue of social media and everybody being fake is less so the social media, more so society. Instagram could be like Be Real. The reason it's not isn't due to Instagram's fault. It's due to the fact that everybody feels as if they have to post the best moments of their life on Instagram. Like, if you look at my posts on Instagram, a lot of them are good, but, like, sometimes I'll just post literally, like, a picture of me just with a fucking YouTube plaque. Like, I'm not po I'm not posted up with fucking makeup. Uh, get a professional photographer. I'll just post some dumb shit. Like, it's just, you just be real in general on social media. You don't need an app to make you do it. But now there's a new app that encourages its users to be real. Be Real is the current photo sharing app on the rise that encourages users to share what they're doing at a random point in All right, we know. And to discover who your friends really are in their daily life. But how has it risen to a $600 million valuation? Ain't that weird though? Like just a little bit, discover how your friends really are in their daily life. Like I'm, it, it's not really showing you anything new. Like, you already know your friend. If you know your friend, you'd know what they'd be doing. Like, if, if it's if the notification comes at 2 a.m., I guarantee you one of my friends is on League of Legends. He would just be posting a picture of League. I don't need I don't need the Be Real app for me to tell for me to know that. You can retake the photo if you want, but your friends will be able to see how many times you tried. 
Speaking of friends, they can Wait, they can see how many times you retook the picture? And you can make a memory file of all the B-Reels you uploaded. Yo, that's actually kind of cool. Similar to one second every day, B-Reel gives a snapshot into people's lives as they are, showing the reality of the everyday. But unlike one second every day, with B-Reel, you're interacting with your friends at the same time. So it feels more inclusive and less like a burden. Fuck, now it's making me want to get the app. Yeah! I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. Chat, do I get it? I will never download Be Real. Fuck. No, I'm not falling into the trap. I already have TikTok. I'm already a TikTok fucking influencer. I'm not falling into another trap. Now it's making me want to get the app. Fuck. Fuck. Be I'm not going to crack. It? I don't know. Now do I get Be Real? How do they even make money? How does Be Real make money? See, that's what's weird. I'm not going to get sucked in. I, I, I'm going to try my hardest not to download the app. Uh, all right. Next video. Oh, God. Thank you.